Good afternoon, this is Schweitzer and uh, looking at a couple examples here of what are called oxidation states. Um, pretty simple idea here, but it has some pretty significant ramifications. So a couple of quick seconds on what this is. Um, essentially an oxidation state is the apparent charge on an individual atom. And in a redox reaction, so is a reaction or redox reaction, if you in fact have a redox reaction, then you have a shifting of electrons somewhere in the reaction. If you have shifting electrons, then you have shifting of charge. And if you have shifting charge, then you're going to have uh, shifting um, oxidation states. So we're looking for our oxidation states changing inside of a particular from reactants to products. Before we can see if they're changing, we've got to learn how to actually label the oxidation states. Okay. Um, and again, I'm not going to go through all the rules on this. I'm just going to go ahead and give some answers out here. Um, this is an ionic compound, so it's plus one and minus one. I have water, number two. Oxygen is minus two. Um, plus one for hydrogen. Note that that these are my oxidation states. I can sometimes use an overall to equal to my charge. Overall charge is zero. There's no charge listed here. So one times two is positive two and a negative two equals zero. Well, it does work. Um, all right, so methane, CH4. All right, so we got ourselves, I can't see that. CH4. Alright. First of all, plus one. Alright. Overall charge equals zero. None of the stuff above the line is an answer. This is my answer right here. Plus one. Okay, there's four of them for a plus four. Um, to get zero, I need a minus four. So then that's a minus four. Uh, right there. There are my two answers. Plus minus four plus one. We would never use a coefficient ever. Just that's the rate used. That's not the individual molecule itself. Okay. All right. Um, let's do another one here. Now this guy here is uh, cr chromium nitrate. Okay. Now there are two ways to to do chromium nitrate. I can do it all at one piece, uh, or I can do it separate. For example, Cr plus three and NO. 3 minus 1. Of course, you know that this, this is dissolved, if it were dissolved, they'd be floating around separately anyways. So this is the oxidation state for uh, chromium, and the nitrate is minus 1. All right, so let's do the nitrate here. Um, the oxygen is a minus 2. Now there's an overall charge of negative 1. So negative 2 times 3 is a negative 6. To get a negative 1, I need a positive 5, and which puts this guy right here. Uh, and these are my answers. Positive 5, negative 2, a little negative there, and a positive 3. That's this guy. Now, if I wanted to keep it together, I can. C, R, parentheses, N, O, 3, 3. And then you have, okay, now the overall charge here is zero minus two all right and then you have two times three is six and then that would be a minus twelve six times two is a minus twelve all right um, at this point this still is a positive three because that's the ionic charge positive three and then at this point three positive three what do I need to hit zero here um, well in this case, to hit zero should be a plus 15. I think that's right. Because there's that would be three of them, and that'd be a plus five for each one. And it's just the same as it, as it is over here. Alright? And um six. Alright. Next one, pretty sure that one was right. 
All right, next one, calcium carbonate. This guy is going to be ionic compound right here, plus two. This guy is minus two times three is a minus six and a plus two equaling zero. All right, what do I got to get to equal zero on this thing? I'm going to need a plus four and this is a plus four. Of course, again, I can do the carbonate C O three minus two all by itself. It dissolves right there. So this is a minus two times three is a minus six. All right, therefore I need a plus four in order to get the minus two. Okay. Um, other ones here. We'll, we'll, we'll let the rest of those stand there. Uh, what's in the bottom here? Okay, so now the bottom, we want to indicate whether a reaction is a oxidation reaction or not. Okay. So in this case, what we do is we go ahead and we list out the oxidation states. So this guy is element zero. This is a plus one, minus four. This is a minus two, plus four, minus two, plus one. That's my oxidation states. All right, now who's being oxidized? Well, first of all, something's gotta change. So the carbon, which is the methane, is going from a minus four to a positive four. All right, so in this case, to go from minus four to positive four, this thing has to uh, lose the electrons, and that's right here. Now the number of electrons, I don't really much care about, so um, based on the fact that things are changing, this is a redox reaction. And I would like to know who's being oxidized, who's being reduced. The electrons on the product side here mean that this guy is being oxidized. This guy is being oxidized. And therefore, the oxygen, which is going from a zero to a negative two, that would have to gain electrons to make that work. Therefore, this is being reduced. Okay. Knowing who is oxidized, knowing who is reduced is really important as well. All right, this one, zero, zero plus three plus uh, minus two. All right, so at this point, the iron is going from a zero to a plus three. To get that to match up, I need to add electrons to this side to get it to be equal. Therefore, that's oxidation. Metals, of course, oxidize to form cations. And nonmetals reduce to form anions. Either way, um, zero for the oxygen. The oxygen is going to go from zero. And of course, if this is being oxidized, this has to be getting reduced. You could stop right there and say, well, that's the way it has to be. One is a losing situation, one's a gaining situation. This guy can't lose without having something else that's going to take it. So at this point, just so you know, we got O0 going to, um, looks like a minus 2. And to get both sides equal, this guy would have to gain electrons. That side is the reduction. Uh, this is an example that's not a redox reaction. This is actually a solubility reaction. And this is just going to be plus 1 plus Five minus two plus one minus one plus one plus five minus two plus one minus one. Notice they don't they don't change. Uh, therefore, this is not a redox reaction. Okay, and we'll stop there for now. Thank you.